preach and that's our deal, but uh, I can't lead worship and play bass. I, I know Sting and Paul McCartney do, but I, I'm not that level yet. So anyway, let's all stand together, shall we? Let's worship God today. before you, you appeared to him in the burning bush, and he had a staff in his hand, which is the tool he worked with, and the thing he leaned on as a shepherd, and he said, lay it down, lay it down, lean on me, look to me, trust in me. Lord, the things that we look to, we, re we reject, and we want to look to you and lean on you, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, amen. You may be seated this morning.
ushers are going to begin to bring the communion forward. Um, look, you, you don't have to be a, a member of our church to take communion. You don't, you don't have to, you don't even have to be a Christian. What this is about is Jesus said, as often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. So for those of you who maybe don't know the Lord, it's just juice and crackers, which is fine. You're welcome to. But for those of us who know Jesus, we remember what he did. We remember what he did on the cross for us. The, the bread represents the body of Christ. The blood, or the, the, the juice represents the blood of Christ. Hebrews 9.22 says that without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sins. Blood had to be shed. A life had to be given. Leviticus 17.11 says the life of a creature is in his blood. And when Jesus gave his blood, he gave his life for you and I. And it's his blood that covers us, that washes our sins away and brings us to atonement, at one moment with God and justifies us, justified in every sin. So as they pass the cup and the cracker, would you just hold on to it? And we're going to sing this song, Waves of Grace, and then we're going to partake together. So.
You're the one who's washed. You're the one who's clean before the Lord because of him. Jesus, we thank you for your blood. Somebody a smile, tell them you're glad to see them this morning. 